Hello everybody, my name's Aino, and welcome back to Outlast. Uh, last time we got thrown off the balcony up there by some guy without a neck. Oh, right, I can lean. Woo woo woo. Uh, camera. Half? Okay. Okay, cool. What do we got here? Bunch of computers. Anything of use? Oh, hey, another corpse. What, what, what am I stuck on? Stop getting stuck on everything. Um, come on. There's gotta be something in here. Some some batteries, a file. Something. Interesting. Uh oh, there's a little side room. Here we go. Was that Jay? Ah oh, yes, here we go. Uh, patient uh, initial data, male 32, CLW Walker, uh, observing physician, blah, blah, blah. Morphogenic engine activity plateaued at roughly 2,000 ppm. Unsafe to progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule. Spirometry revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation MRI scans consistent with patients reported dreams. Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraints restraint have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous extensive dermal eruptions as consistent with failed morphogenic u engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer, a truer way of seeing. Seems to have some boyhood experience with tau... Tua Tara lizards and their parietal eyes. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Attending orderlies should ha be advised to watch for self for future self further self mutilation. Read English. Ugh. <laughs> the mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be retarding progression of the ME process. He's pr his predominant fixation, amplified by therapy, is a mimic exaggeration of military security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. What do we got in here? What was that for? Alright, really quick... I'm going to head back out the door here and check the other side. If I can. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Uh, reload the battery. There we go. Might as well. Dude, calm down. Seriously. Oh, hey. What you doing down there? All right, cool. Ooh. What do we got in here? Witness. I'm already beat. Uh, I'm all. I'm already beat all to hell. Broken, picking broken glass out of my scalp. Couple cracked ribs. Nearly killed by a deformed giant. Looks like somebody tried to fuck start his head with a cheese crater. <laughs> he throws me through a wall and knocks me unconscious. I wake up in some doughy old man with a face like an alcoholic kitty fiddler in a homemade priest outfit. Calls me an apostle. Not a job I asked for. 
There are words scrawled in blood everywhere. I'm getting an ugly feeling in my gut that the priest is writing them, and for my benefit. Okay. Interesting way of describing everything. Sucks to be you guys. Uh, we got anything in here I can take? Or is this just here to freak me out? Probably. And um, can I get in here? Uh, need your key card. Okay. Dude, breathe, man. Jesus. Oh wow, that looks uh, uncomfortable. What do we got here? Dear sirs, the full report pending, no immediate action is required on the part of the Murkoff Corp. The profit potential of Project Wallrider remains staggeringly high. The four fatalities contain enough ambiguous data to make li any litigation, if evidence is correctly managed, poss impossible. Project Wallrider remains a dangerous, uh, dangerous initiative, and there will almost certainly be further casualties. As with the others, however, family and government interest in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal actions vanishingly unlikely. Violence among patients is increasing as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models, but a combination of physical and chemical restraints has proven sufficiently effective to assure controlled... Continued control and profit. Respectfully, Helen Grant, Murkoff, blah, blah, blah. Wow, these guys are dicks. Nope, can't go in there. Why do we have to pay for this? Why do we have to die? Walker will kill us just for being sick. Push some people. We didn't choose this. Uh huh. Oh. oh, okay, it's just a door in there. Dude, you need to learn how to breathe, man. Like, seriously. Already been in the bathroom. Can't. Hey! Oh, wait, that's that thing. Do I go down? Can I go in here? Nope. Okay. Back up it is. Dude. Um, I give up, you know. I, I give the hell up. Okay, let's, uh... You're kind of... Are you alive? Yeah, you're alive. You're gonna grab at me, aren't you? You're gonna jump scare me? Wow, what the fuck happened to you, bro? You okay? Probably not. Oh, you look friendly! Crowd of broken men watching a dead channel. They look like patients. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody's home. Oh, I love this show. <sighs> it is the best. Yeah, let's not get in their way, just in case they snap. Oh, there's another one. Oh, yeah, you're not doing so good. Jesus, dude. What we'll beat your ass? Room A114. Okay, you don't have a head, so I don't need to worry about you. Oh no, you have a head. This just turned weird. Alright, let's see. Jump scare. No? Okay, if you're sure, game. Whoa. 
Whatever you say, game. Yeah, I don't want to tr tr possibly trigger that guy, so let's not walk him. Jump scare? <laughs> Jump scare! <laughs> Ow! What did you do to me? <laughs> Poor guy. All right. Well, now that we have the key card, right over this way, I believe. Pretty sure. Right? Yeah, here we go. Q and E while running. Oh, that's awesome. I like that. That's a nice touch. Boink. Let's just uh, close that. Can I lock it? No. No, I cannot. That would probably be a good idea. Oh, I can hide. I, okay, I can hide. They lie. You lie. Uh, unlock main doors. Probably a bad idea, but you know what? Boop, 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 boopity boop. How do I know how to do this? Like seriously, how do I know how to access the sec the security system? Oh. Well, thanks, priest man. Hide in the locker. Don't try to fight. <laughs> Why should I hide in the lock? Oh. Hey there, buddy. The big fucker is stalking me. Found a patient file for a Chris Walker, ex-military police. Several tours of Afghanistan. A lot of the blood in this place is on his hands, but not all of it. Okay, so your name is Chris Walker, huh? Dude, what the fuck is your problem, bruh? Yeah... Uh, could you just go away? Come on. There you go. Okay, I think I'm safe. Okay, survived. That was easy because it told me what to do and whatnot. Wait, this looks different. Have I been in here? Yeah, that's the witness one. Okay. Okay, well now we gotta go into the basement. That's always a good idea. Okay, can I get in? Oh, okay. Squeeze through there. What do you say? Um, MK Ultra program. Oh, okay. My master serve. Uh, post hypnotic of the night before. Pointed finger. You will sleep. Was an act, pointed finger, you will sleep, was enacted. Miss Jackson and Pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion. Miss Pierce has been instructed, having previously expressed a fear of firearms in any fashion, that she would use every method to, to, to your disposal at her disposal to awaken Miss Jackson. Um, now in a deep hypnotic sleep, and failing this, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire it at Miss Jackson. She was instructed that her rage would be so great that she would hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to awaken. 
Miss Pierce carried out these suggestions to the letter, including firing the unloaded pneumatic pistol gun at Jackson and then proceeding to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both awakened and expressed complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce again handed the gun was handed the gun, which she refused in an awakened state, to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. That MK Ultra dope. <sighs> Silly CIA. Okay, so to vault, press space bar will towards Okay, well I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here before we go wandering into the basement and all that creepy shit. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed watching this. I know it was just me wandering around a lot and reading, but hopefully that won't be a, as big of a problem next time. If any, if people really want me to, I'll just skip over the document and like you could paw, I'll hold it for a couple of seconds so you could pause it and whatnot uh, and read it if you haven't already. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you did, go ahead and leave a like, share it with a friend, or if you really enjoyed it, you can subscribe. That's always helpful. I said subscribe. Subscribe. There's a B in there. Two bees, actually. <laughs> anyway, uh, you can also leave a comment down below for anything else you'd like to see me play, do, draw, general comments or questions, tips, stuff like that, you know, whatever. I'm open to all sorts of stuff. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Later!